M0 FXB Hamtech, welcome back to the channel. STM Cube 32 program. I had a problem downloading it, so the solution was first of all, of course, download the software, and it looks like this. There's the zip there. I have added WinRAR already. So if I double click it, you'll just see what's inside it. This is what it looks like, okay? Now, I found that if I just ran it there or even extracted it to a folder, it didn't work. But if you go extract, and I've already done this, of course, then select C drive and it click OK. If you click OK now, I'm going to cancel that and show you one other thing that I did. And probably makes sense to do it before. Go to your or this link for Java download Java, click the green one here and download that, close the browser, reopen the browser. Then when I when I did extract it to my C drive, look, this square came up, this little blue square that says it's a PRG. Once you see that, you're on, you're on to, it's working basically. And then I've just started doing it now. And it took me a couple of hours to get my head around it because I'm, you know, always learning. And then look, accept the terms and we're going to run it. It's a very handy program if you're if you like to experiment. It says here the target directory will be created. So you go OK and accept the term. Next. Just go in next here. Let it run through live. So I've been experimenting with my mobile link, updating the firmware. I'm going to click next to the driver that's appeared there. Install. Finish. It's all looking very promising. So I have quite a few STM32 boards. Uh, so looking forward to experimenting. It says they are finished now. We're going to go next. Just going to click next on default. Done. Now let's find where it's put the shortcut. It looks like it's it's put it here. So we're going to double click. It's quite big. We get this warning. And hey presto, it opens. So okay, the next learning will be what software programs I can use with this, what firmware I can do, how can I change my STM32 devices, uh, and just, uh, yeah, this is the beginning of my learning, but hopefully this will help you install this STM32 Cube IDE program. 7.3, bye for now, all the best.